Hello everyone and nice to meet you all. I'm Rosario Velasquez and here with me is Usagi Suzuki-san. Hajime mashite minasan. Hajime mashite Usagi-san. So today kids, we are going to analyze some of the Yokohama prints which were created during the 1860s. But why should we care about Yokohama prints? Yeah, why, why, why? <laughs> Well, because Yokohama prints were linked to the traditional Japanese paintings, which were color painting techniques. And these type of paintings were called the Japanese woodblocks. And these Japanese woodblocks were created about a hundred years before the Yokohama prints. We're talking about like 1760s. And uh, today, I would like to analyze with all of you some of these um, paintings of the uh, Yokohama prints because they're very important because they provide information of what was going on in Japan during that time period. But we will jump into that. But let's start analyzing them, shall we? Yay! Japanese woodblocks were traditional color printing techniques in order to create pictures of paintings, such as this one. Wow! There are many other types of Japanese woodblocks. But today, we are going to specifically analyze some of the Japanese woodblocks that contain Yokohama images, which were known as Yokohama prints. These Yokohama prints were created between the years of 18. 59 and 1862 when Yokohama was a boom town. Wow! You mean like a big boom? Yes, when Yokohama went boom. Wow! Yeah, not that it actually went boom or exploded, but because Yokohama used to be a small fishing village. But after Japan opened its borders to the west, Many Westerners came to that town during that time, and this made many Japanese anxious to see how the Westerners and this boomtown looked like. So they would buy these Yokohama prints, such as this one. Wow, I like this one. Yeah, me too. Now let's, let's analyze it, shall we? Okay, Usagi-san, what do you see? Well, there are definitely many people. And who are these people? Hmm, let me think. Uh, Japanese merchants? You are absolutely right, Usagi-san. These Japanese merchants would supply the newly Westerners with goods for their daily lives. We see many shops open and several of these shops will sell many types of items, including Yokohama prints. Awesome! Now... Let's look at this one. Hmm, there are many huge ships. Uh-huh. And there also seem to be a lot of people. Yes, but they do not look like Japanese. Their clothings are different. Hmm, I see several flags. The American flag, the French flag. Oh, these seem to be from the West. Exactly, Usagi-san. These were the Westerners traders at Yokohama who were transporting mer merchandise. And also, do you notice there are many European women in this picture? Yes! Were there actually many women who came to Japan in that time? Actually, Usagi-san, this is not quite accurate. You see, even though there were women who came accompanying their husbands, there were not that many as this picture portrays. And why is that? Because... Many of the Japanese who painted these woodblocks did not actually see these images in reality. What? Yeah, their pictures were mostly created by what they heard about Yokohama and created these images from their own imagination. Whoa! Which were in many occasions misleading and or inaccurate. One of the last thing I would like for us to analyze a bit is the difference between the Japanese Yokohama prints and the Western illustrations. Western illustrations were black and white, like this one, this one, and this one. And if it was tinted, it was delicately tinted, just a bit. 
Wow, it looks very different from the Japanese woodblocks. Yeah, it actually does, Isagi-san. These illustrations were most of the times based from actual pictures taken from Japan, and these illustrations tended to be very formal and realistic. I can see that. Westerners were also fascinated by Japan's authentic scenes and culture, and they wanted to capture what was different from their native countries. That is so cool! Now, in conclusion, we see the importance of analyzing images. What do you think, Usagi-san? I feel you can really understand history better just by analyzing images which were created in that time. There is definitely a lot of hidden information which is very fun to explore. Exactly, Usagi-san. So I'm so happy that you guys were able to join us today. And my advice to y'all is to keep exploring images. You will find that by exploring and analyzing images, you will be able to understand history better. Until next time, everyone!